Hey, well, good morning. I thought it was time for another devotional and just some of the things that are on my heart. I was looking at Romans 14, 12 this morning, and it says this. It says, yes, each of us will give a personal account to God. So let's stop condemning each other. Decide instead to live in such a way that you will not cause another believer to stumble. Uh, I was on the phone last night with my youngest nephew, and we got on the subject of Kanye West. And, he, you know, there's a, a pastor who's taken a hit right now because he let Kanye share in one of his church services. And I told my nephew, the sad thing is, is that... Um, Kanye, when his new Christian album uh, drops soon, we don't know when that's going to be. Uh, for all of you Kanye followers, uh, we don't know when that's going to be. Um, but when it does drop, he's not going to take the biggest hit from the from the world, the secular media, the secular market. The biggest hit he needs to uh, is going to take, and what he needs to brace himself against is uh, is the Christian world, um, people who are going to come up against him and say, "Ah, oh, you know, all these things." And so I was just thinking about as we run our race, you know, that that great famous line of stay in your lane. And so it's hard for me to run my race if I'm constantly looking at how somebody else is, is doing. Um, if I don't have my eye on the prize and maybe I'm even running a race where I don't even... I'm not even excited about the prize ahead. Have you ever done that before? You've ran a race and then at the end you're like, but I didn't want this goal. Some of us do that in our career. Some of this, some of us do that with uh, financial gain. Um, you know, we think we want something one day and so you put it on the credit card and then when the bill comes, you're like, well, I really didn't want that. I wonder if I could take it back. Um, and so as you're running your race, you, 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 if you're constantly looking at the other person, the other racers next to you and their form and how they're doing, you, you lose your own momentum. And so it's so true. I see this in the body of Christ so much when we begin to focus on other people's ministries and we become negative of them and we become critical and then our eyes and our focus gets on what they're doing instead of what God has called us to do. Um, so I put down this, I, put, I wrote down this, um, uh, I'll, I'll never forget when I was uh, working with Gene Ron Cohn, uh, he said, uh, he said to me, I was, I was really young. I was about 24 years old and just, just a mouthy little, little thing. And, uh, he said to me, he said, Shar, God has definitely given you a gift of discernment, but when God gives you a gift of discernment so that you pray, not so that you share, because, you know, I would go in and I would just kind of shoot my mouth off and say, well, Hey, I met so-and-so and this is what I think. And he goes, you know what? You definitely have a gift. And, and having a gift is a great thing, but it's how you use the gift. And so maybe you see something in somebody else's race and you're like, mm, I don't know, that doesn't seem to be bearing good fruit. And so I have to ask myself, am I praying for them as much as I'm talking about them? Uh, I can't get distracted over semantics, over petty arguments while the hopeless is out there uh, hurting and uh, people are out there committing suicide and doing drugs. I don't want to get distracted from the prize of bringing hope and encouragement to the lost, of someday making heaven my home, um, of, of making sure that I am uh, smoking what I'm selling, that I am giving people, myself, just as much of Jesus as I'm giving to other people. And uh, the last thing I want to say here is I'll never forget years ago, um, it was really popular to stand out and do, uh, on the sides of the road and, um, and kind of pick it, whether it was abortion clinics or just to stand on the side of the road and, and hold up a sign. And I'll never forget when I was living in Yuba city, I was going to new life and, um, brother pastor David hood was my pastor at the time. And, um, there was a, a movement coming to Yuba City where on a Sunday we were all going to take up signs that were anti-abortion signs and we're going to stand along uh, along uh, Highway 20. And I'll never forget what Brother Brotherhood said, and, and it was just so good. He said, "Hun, until everybody has heard the gospel, then I can take up another cause." And I thought to myself, wow, this is an important cause. You know, we're standing against, we're, we're, we're fighting against abortion. We want those babies to live. But I'll never forget, he was a pastor who never lost his focus. He never got in a pulpit and, and, and made his message about somebody else's failure. But he always made it about the Lord's victory. 
and until some until everybody is saved then i can take up another cause and so i just wanted to leave us with that today romans 14 making sure that we keep our eye on the prize and that we're not getting distracted by somebody else's race have a great day